Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You are welcome to Apostles Broadcast this beautiful Monday morning. We are broadcasting from the city of Abuja, Nigeria. Glory to God. Now, today is a defining moment in our nation's history. Amen. Nigeria is entering a new phase, a new era, a new dispensation today. There is going to be transition of government from one uh, government to another. And we owe our nation prayer. Amen. We all, whoever sit upon that throne, prayer. Glory to God. The Bible says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And so we are going to be praying for the peace of Jerusalem today. Glory to God. And I want to beg you, pray, so that I will not be pray to the enemy. Amen. We, we see it is an error for us to leave the government of our nation to themselves. These are but mere men. They can't do anything. They don't know anything. They think they know, but they don't know. And the Bible says that God is the governor of nations. So we have to ask the governor of nations to come and govern our nation, Nigeria. And some of us, my friend, we are passionate about this nation. Oh, yes, some of us are very, this is the only nation we are. We are very passionate about this nation. And for several months, we have been praying. I remember we prayed on this platform before the campaign started. When, uh, what is it called now? When the parties have um, chosen their um, candidates to fly their flags, we prayed, we started praying. Even before the he kept praying, he kept praying until the angel came to bring him his answer. And guess what the angel said? The angel said, Daniel, since the day you began to pray and seek the face of God, God has sent me to you to give you an answer of peace. But guess what? The prince of Persia will tell me 21 days. That angel was not talking about human prince. That angel was talking about the principality that rule over the kingdom of Persia. Let me show you this morning if you do not know, my friend. And that is why we need to pray for our leaders. For, for, for. Paul said, pray for governments and those in authority. That's why we have to pray for the president of our nation specifically. Because he sits upon a throne. Amen. Now, that angel was not talking about the, the king of Persia, the one who sits physically on the throne. He was talking about the principality that rules the affairs of Persia in the spirit realm. So there were two rulers in that kingdom, so to say. The one ruling the spirit realm and the one ruling the earth realm. The one ruling the earth realm is not in the control of the spirit realm. The one in the spirit realm is the one who controls the earth realm. It decides what happened over that kingdom. Now look at it. This is the way you will understand what I'm saying. Imagine a plane flying into a nation. The moment it crosses the border into that nation, they begin to tell him, you are now flying into so-and-so territory. Identify yourself or you will be brought down. Because there are devices that guard nations, the territorial integrity of nations. The same in the place of this, in the, in the realm of the spirit. There are angels that guard the realm of the spirit. They guide territories, they guide um, areas, kingdoms, nations. The same way the devil send his own minions, his own demons, and to guide the affair, to guide the territories of nations. So the demon who was sitting over Persia at the prince of the power of the air was the one that arrested that angel from coming to give answer to Daniel. Understand this thing. We can't leave this man to themselves. 
it is an error for us to leave them to themselves it may be because of bitterness or hatred or something listen to me my friend if we allow that then the the the, the spiritual atmosphere of nigeria will be tense we won't be pray, able to pray and pray through now the devil we have we hold this man and we perpetrate evil over our nation but we will not allow that that's why we've got to pray are you still there praise the name of the lord we must pray the bible commander said pray for the peace of jerusalem this is our jerusalem listen to me you can travel to any nations of the world to live there to start down there but there is no place like home and i see something happening you see people outside the nation people in diaspora they throw a lot of stones into this nation they throw a lot of positive things into this nation. Listen to me. Some of us have been praying. And those stones will not walk in this country again. Say amen. Come on, say amen. I want you to shout amen. In fact, I want you to type amen in the comment section right now. Type amen. I want you to do something for me right now as you are watching. Call your friends. Call them on the phone. Send them chat on WhatsApp. Send this link to them. Let them participate in this. Nigeria is entering a divining moment. And we've got to take this nation for Jesus. We must enthrone Jesus upon this nation. Amen. So tell them to join this Apostolic Grace broadcast now. Amen. And do something for me. I want to ask you to do something for me. Type in the comment section. Nigeria shall be great again. Come on, go ahead and type it now. I am typing my own right away. Glory to God. I am doing my own right away. Hallelujah. I am typing Nigeria. Nigeria shall be great again. Put exclamation mark. Nigeria shall be great again. More like us shouting. Nigeria shall be great again. Nigeria shall prosper again. Nigeria will do God every name. The name Jesus. The name Jesus. The name Jesus. Nigeria shall be great again. Mazegederi andata. Prada ida purida sinda handa 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 handa. Ma se ki 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 brudu ida pahanda ta brada ida pa brada ida ta brudu ida brudu ida pahanda ta Nigeria shall be great again. Ma se ki diri anda ta brudu ida brada sita gababa Nigeria ma di he 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 brada ida will speak over you. You shall be great again. Greatness is in your destiny. Greatness is in your gene. Therefore, we decree. And we declare greatness upon you again in the name of Jesus more than before greatness upon you more than before greatness to you more than before greatness to you in the name of Jesus Christ more than before greatness to you in the name of Jesus more than before greatness to you brother ida pahanda ta brother seki kiki ba brodo ida brother zida ma da de da frika Masiki Teri Anda Tabrodo Suta, the leader of the black world, brother Ida Tabrodo Ida Pahanda Ta. Masiki Teri Anda, we declare and we declare Nigeria arise, we declare and we declare Nigeria arise. Take your place right now. 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 Take your place right now. Take your place right now. Rise up again in the name of Jesus. Rise up again in the name of Jesus. Mazegideri ab. Baha, 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 Prada, Sita, Gabrodo, Sita, Gababa, Mazegi, Deri, Anda, Prodo, Ida, Prodo, Ida, Tagababa, Masheki, Deri, Anda, Ta, Pahanda, Brodo, Ida, Prada, Sita. Thank you, Father, because Nigeria is rising again. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of never again shall evil be mentioned in our nation. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth, friend. Come on, let's pray. Let's pray for this nation. Let's decree over this nation. Nigeria, you are great again. 
Nigeria, you are great again. Nigeria, your greatness is coming again. In the name of Jesus, Nigeria, rise up, shine for. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, Nigeria, rise up, shine for. In the Nigeria, rise up, shine for. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, Nigeria, rise up, shine for. Ma seketeri anda prodo sita gababa. Ma zegeteri anda prade sita gababa. Ma zida anda taga bruko sum. Nigeria, rise up, shine for. Rise up, shine for. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name. That is above every name, the name Jesus, the name Jesus, the name Jesus, the name Jesus. Rise up now, shine forth now, rise up now, shine forth now, rise up now, shine forth now, rise up now. In the name of Jesus, rise up now, shine forth now, rise up now, shine forth now. In the name that is above every name, the name Jesus, rise up now, shine forth now. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Be lifted I. Be lifted I. Be glorified. Be lifted I. Be glorified. Thank you. 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 Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name. Let's type the hashtag now. Nigeria shall be great again. Glory to God. Let's smash that in the face of the devil. Let him know that we mean business. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen to me. While praying over the incoming government. God gave me a word. Proverbs 25 and verse 5. And that's why you saw the flyer on the screen earlier while we started this broadcast. He says, His throne shall be established in righteousness. Now, but the part A of that verse says, Take away the wicked from the face of the king, and his throne shall be established in righteousness. It means that for that throne to be established, that throne cannot be established in righteousness. So let's open our mouth and begin to pray right now. We decree over the incoming government that will be inaugurated today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree they shall not appoint wicked people into positions of authority. They shall not appoint wicked men, wicked women, wicked people shall not stand before this throne in the name of Jesus. If their name has been penned down for appointment, we cancel that name from the list. We delete that name by the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ. We delete that name by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth. Let's begin to pray now. For Nigeria to be great, my friend, that people will be taken away from the face of the president, from the face of the king. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray today in the name that is above every name, the name Jesus. We take them away. Wicked men, wicked people, from the face of the incoming government. We pray specifically for Bola Ahmed. We remove wicked people from advisors, special advisors, special counsel. <laughs> Glory to God. And when David heard that Aitofel was in the rebellious government of Absalom, the Bible says David lifted up his face and said, Lord, turn the counsel of Aitofel into foolishness. Oh, David knew Aitofel. Aitofel has served in David's government. He knew that any counsel that Aitofel gave was like the wisdom of God. Amen. And then because David prayed, God began to turn the counsel of Aitofel into foolishness. We are going to pray right now that no Aitofel will find their way into the new government. We, back, we shut the door against every Aitofel. We bind Aitofelic spirit. Thank you, Father. We bind Aitofelic spirit. We rebuke them. We rebuke. They shall not find their way into this government. No way. 
no way for them again. This government shall choose men of character of integrity, men who love this nation, men who want this nation to be great again, men who want to serve, who want to serve the nation, not their pocket, in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, says um, in Proverbs 29, verse 12, it says, If a king listen to lies, all his servants are wicked. If a king begin to lie, listen to lies of, of people around him, and they told tell this person, this person who is serving well, lie again the person that they might knock him off. It happened to Daniel. He saw that, like, um, uh, uh, what is he called, prime ministers gathered against him and they went to lie to the king that Daniel is praying to another God aside from the one that you appointed. And the king made a decree. And then, they, you know the story, and they cast the Daniel and cast, throw him into the lion on them. But God saved them. Now, now, I'm not telling, telling the story of Daniel this morning. I'm just making, using that as an illustration. Amen. Some people will come to give what bad counsel, lie against people, against good people who are serving in the government. We're going to pray against them. Amen. Liars shall not be around this new president. We speak to you, Bola Akmetinubu, in the name that is above every name, the name Jesus Christ. Liars shall not be around you. In the name of Jesus, we bind the lying tongue. We cut off. We cut them off. We cut off lying tongues. We cut off lying tongues. We cut off lying tongues. They shall not be around you. They shall not be around you. They shall not be around you. In the name of Jesus, they shall, they shall not be around you. In the name that is above every name, the name Jesus. Glory to God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are still praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word that I receive for Nigeria, this throne shall be established in righteousness. Amen. This throne. Now somebody will be saying, hey, but this person is not a Christian, but he is a creature of God. Yes. Oh, God used Cyrus. God used Nebuchadnezzar. God used some, so many Ethan kings in the Bible to bring about his purpose. So we are talking about the purpose of God and the counsel of God. We are not talking about, uh, about what man feel or anything like that. We are talking about the will of God. The will of God being made. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise God. Are you still there, my friend? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, like I said, some of us, we have passion. A lot of passion for this nation. A burning passion. A burning desire for this nation. Amen. Amen. And we can't watch this nation go down the drain. In a short while, as I begin to uh, try to wrap up this program today, we will prophesy over Nigeria. A new night. And let me warn you as we go on, my friend. Let me just give you this warning. Don't join them. Don't join them to badmouth this, this incoming government. Do you know why that is important? The outgone president, the outgone government, we so much bad, bad mouthed it. We said a lot of bad things about that government. We told we we cursed that government, and that's why Nigeria suffered these eight years. Praise the Lord. That is why we suffer these eight years. Praise God. We cannot afford to do that again. Speak well about this nation. Speak the counsel of God about this nation. Don't let the devil use you against this nation. Don't allow him. Because the devil will not use people outside. He will use church people. He will use Christians. The Bible says the power of life and death is in the tongue. 
Let's learn to speak good about this nation, to speak the counsel of God for this nation. His throne shall be established in righteousness. That's what we should speak. I decree Nigeria shall be great again. Greatness is in the gene of Nigeria. Therefore, we decree over Nigeria. Nigeria be great. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Nigeria shall be great again. In the, and so, Father, we speak over Nigeria. We speak over Nigeria. Nigeria, rise up as we step into the new era this morning. As Bola Ahmed Tinubu's government is inaugurated today, as he is sworn in into this in today as the president of Nigeria, we decree and we declare, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, this throne shall be established in righteousness. In the name of, we bind the prince of the power of the air. In the name of Jesus, we bind the prince of the power of the air. We bind principalities, we bind powers. In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak the blood of Jesus upon Nigeria, over Nigeria, over the atmosphere of Nigeria, over the territorial integrity of Nigeria. We speak the blood of Jesus Christ. We set the atmosphere on fire. The atmosphere, the heavenlies, the atmosphere, the spirit realm over Nigeria. We set it on, on fire, on fire, on fire. Let the fire the Ghost Baptize Nigeria, burn away every evil, burn away every plan of hell. In the name of, we scatter the plan of hell. In the name of Jesus Christ, Baha, Prodozida, and that we pray over Nigeria, prosperity, abundance. In the, our economy shall prosper again. There shall be peace, O oh God, within our walls and prosperity within our palaces. In the name of Jesus, there shall be abundance in the land again. In the name of Jesus Christ, there shall be security again. In the name of Jesus Christ, this nation will become great again. We speak upon your life, Nigeria. Rise up and be great. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and be great. In the name of Jesus, rise up and be great. Masum to Bruno Ida Pahandata, Prada Ida, Prada Shake Teri Andata, Baha Brodo Ida, Prada Sita Gala. Ma shake it till the end of time, bro. Do it that taga, bro. Do shoot taga, bro. Ma shake it till the end of time, bro. Do shoot taga, bro. Ma shake it till the end of bro. Do it that, bro. Do it that, bro. Ma sit taga, bro. Nigeria, you are great again. Nigeria, you are great again. We speak greatness over you. Never again shall blood be shed in Nigeria. In the name, we bind every workers of evil. We bind every workers of iniquity. We bind kidnapper. We bind insurgencies all over. We bind you. We shut you down. In the name of, we pray that the Lord will strengthen the hand of the military to squat, to quash them, to shut them out of the shores of Nigeria. In the name of, we pray peace over Nigeria. And we pray for the health of the president. We pray hell to his bones. We pray strength to his body. In that we pray sound mind, sound mind, intelligence, super intelligence for him. In the name of, we pray for health. Health, we pray, we infuse life into your bones, into your marrow. You will not, you will not force it. You will not break down. You will stand strong. In the name, you will, we cast out weakness out of your body. We speak strength over you. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, we speak strength over you. We speak strength over you. In, you shall be strong. You will do valiantly. You will be strong. You will do valiantly. Okay, let's say this way. You are strong. You are doing valiantly. You are strong. You are doing valiantly. We speak life upon you. We bring life upon you life upon your bone life upon every part of your body both your internal and outside organ we speak life in the name of jesus Christ. the lord will strengthen your hand bola admit the lord will strengthen you will do the will of god we pray, and the lord will enter into your heart father we pray enter the heart of bola admit kashim shetima and those who are going to be leaders in the next four in the, in the, in the next four years in the name of enter into their heart, O oh God. Let them do your will. They must do your will. They must walk in your will and in your way. We inscribe your will upon the heart of this man. We inscribe your will upon the heart of this man. In the name that is above every name. The name of Jesus. Let me say this closing prayer. This is the last prayer I'm going to leave. And I'm going to pray. Listen to me, my friend. 
you and I, we enjoy the good in this nation, in this incoming government, in this new era. We are going to enjoy the good of the land. We, we see, listen to me. I don't care what some people are saying out there. That is their own opinion. My own is this. The new government shall favor me and my household. It will favor you also if you believe that. You will eat the good of the land. The incoming government will favor you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will eat in abundance. In the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus. You will eat the good of the incoming government. In the name of Jesus, in the incoming government, new business will rise up. Business will begin to prosper. Families will begin to prosper. Prosper. Those business that have been established before that were not doing well, they will begin to do well starting today. I pray as an oracle of God. I speak the word of God in upon you this morning. The new government will favor you. It will pay you. Listen to me. We have this conviction. It will pay you. We have a commandment to, a commandment to bless and we are blessed. This new government, this new era, we favor you. Some of you will come to appointment that you never dreamed of. Yeah, some of you will come into a position that you never applied for. Yes, receive it, receive it, receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Listen to me, my friend. I want you to still believe in Nigeria. Oh, yes, believe in Nigeria. Believe in Nigeria. No matter what it is, let's together believe in Nigeria. Those nations that we run to, the people there believe in their country. Americans believe in America. Europeans believe in Europe. That's why you can run there. Let's also believe in this country. Glory to God. In coming days, I'll be sharing with you what the Lord is speaking to me about this government. God has set some of us as watchers over this nation, and we are we are keenly watching watching this nation. Amen. We are keenly watching this nation from the realm of the spirit and then in the realm of the spirit, physical. We are watchers and we are watching. And when we see something wrong, we will pray, we will talk. This new government, we will not keep quiet. We will pray, we will talk. Why not join us? Amen. I'll be back here on Monday, 5.30 next week. Right on this platform, right here, right here. On God. Glory to God. As you go, this with the Lord will keep you. The Lord will prosper your journey in the name of Jesus Christ. As you lay your hand upon whatever God has committed into your hand to do, it will succeed. It will prosper. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. And give you peace. You'll have the peace of God round about in Jesus' name. My name is Emmanuel Adeyemoye. I just want to be a blessing. Let me remind you, help us share this broadcast. Share the link across your social media uh, platforms. Let people know that the truth of God is still online. Glory to God. Tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody about Apostolic Grace broadcast. And the Lord God of heaven, we bless you. Amen. I'll see you again next week. By the grace of God, and the Lord gives us bread. By that time, we are in the new government already. We are in the new era already. That era, we favor you. It will pay you in the name of Jesus.